Hi guys, I know I've been missing, missing in action. It's just, uh, you know, with fall coming, Mrs. Junk's got a lot of projects for me. So I haven't got the trailer quite done yet, but we had an accident this week and I'm going to show you what it is and this is going to be this week's video. In the downstairs of my house, never mind the mess, it's a furnace room. I don't take great pleasure in cleaning a furnace room, so it never gets clean. And I've only been here 15 years, so you can imagine. So anyways, it all started off about a year and a half ago where all of a sudden the dryer started to sound like there was 40 kittens in it. And you know, I thought, hey, let's just ignore that. Nothing bad can happen if you ignore it. Well, Sunday of this last week, Mr. Junk is drying clothes. And now it sounds like a hundred pounds of nails in the dryer. Well, hey, of course, I had to call a dryer repairman because I don't know small appliances. I know I'll tear them apart, but that's about it. So he's told me it's a write-off. Guess I should have guessed. Couldn't quite pinpoint what was wrong, but I guess this isn't supposed to look like that. So he says, I need new bearings, glides, a bunch of knots and stuff. But now I gotta get this out of this basement and I'm gonna show you how, I think. And uh, yeah, and I'll show you Oh, it also needed a front panel. And I'll show you why. I know this panel looks perfectly fine. So this is what happens when you ignore things. The plastic gets all busted up. And see right there, the drums actually cut into the um, front face there's plastic bits in there that have kind of melted and I didn't understand why the clothes were hanging up but I guess so then you see this drum it's all good for nothing and uh, he says that that's not supposed to look like that you see how it's like wore the side panel out so if your dryer starts screaming like there's 40 kittens in it you probably should look at it anyways I figure why not just take this apart piece by piece in the basement and that's kind of like a scrapping video Oh yeah, first of all, you want to unhook the power. I already did that. That's the only way I could calm this puppy down. So anyways, you want to unhook the power first because you don't want this bad boy tearing you apart. Side cutters and uh, just cut this belt. Might as well, it's not going to do you any good. The drum comes out. Like I'm just doing this so that it's lighter to work with. Probably doing it wrong. You know me. See? That's a lot easier to deal with. 
Oh, by the way, some people like to unscrew these panels. Not me. I just like to tear them open and just start cutting. Oh, actually, I bet you. That little brass ain't worth playing with. I'm just gonna cut. You want that those brass ends you can? Not me. Um all about quick. This one here is aluminum. all apart. You can't just get this quality content just anywhere, you know. Oh, cut the zip tie. here needs to be cut too. We just go right through the zip die. So you would think. Oh, and more zip ties down here. Okay. So you just do that and that. Grab all the wires you can. This wire is good. See, now that's scrapped. We just got to cut those wires down below. And then we'll go and hook in some gas. I know, I should have probably unhooked the gas first, but I'm lazy. So we see all these stray wires. I'm just going to cut those out. That motor's already aluminum, I know that. And uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to do is cut those wires out. And she's a gas variety, just so you know. So what you want to do is shut that gas off. You know the gas is off when the lever goes across the pipe. If it's in line with the pipe, that means the gas is flowing. If it's across, you know what I'm saying? So this is what 15 years of dirt looks like underneath the dryer. Am I proud? No. Will I neglect this in the future? Oh yeah. So you want to take a aggressive wrench. Just adjust it for this thing. And it's just lefty loosey. Well, maybe I need another wrench for that. Bet you I do. Let me go get a wrench. Just want to throw a vice grip on one side and then lefty loosey the other side I think or mm. 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 yeah it should just let's see righty tidy lefty loosey maybe I just need to put this Ah, there we go. Like they were 
were scared of gas was going to leak out. Hmm. What's that rotten egg smell? I don't know. Ooh, Robert's in bed. Nice. Oh, I wanted to show you. Look at that drum was digging through the side panel as well. So next I'm going to be, I'll just remove all this. I just wanted to show you how I scrap a, a dryer, you know, it's a little bit of wire. Some of that, if you want to micro scrap that, I'm not going to, it's just going to go on the shred. So I just wanted to show you guys how I scrap a dryer. If I scrap a dryer, I don't normally. Um, but if I do, I do very minimal. There's little clocks and dials and stuff you could micro scrap if you really want to. I don't bother. It's just, I've got a certain threshold I need to, to make make it worth my while it's just not worth my while might be for you and bonus to you if you've got time to take stuff apart go for it but to me this is usually just goes in the shred I cut the plug off and the rest just goes into the big appliance store in the sky so I hope you enjoyed this episode I promise you next week will be a lot better episode. We'll have the trailer done. And uh, that should be exciting. So we'll see you next weekend. And that was some nice junk.